Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we have the T-Motor Falcon on our hands. This is a two inch little beast. Now two inch is the uh, hit and miss zone in my opinion. The two inch pre-built quads are very difficult to have built or just company just do a very terrible job at it. However, in this case, T-Motor actually did a really, really great job. And let me explain why. Now we have the two inch, for example, the two inch diatone, not the two and a half or the three inch diatone. The two inch diatone does not really fly, to be honest. That is not going to give you a great experience outside. And uh, that's my opinion. And that's for me actually using it. It was just terrible. However, this on the other hand, to be honest, I didn't even know it was a two inch until right now. I was actually, I thought it was a 2.5 inch. Um, and I was actually quite surprised when I found out it was a 2 inch. Now these motors on it are freaking amazing. T-Motor F15 6000 KV and they're pushing a hell of a lot of speed and a hell of a lot of power. A couple things to take note of or some things that are very obvious is the design. The way they've done this one. The way they've done it is with this little plastic canopy here and it feels really rigid. Now I don't know how durable it will, it will be because I have not, I've gotten in a couple crashes but not crashes to say oh yeah I've crashed. So I can't really answer that for you right now but if anyone has one let us know down in the comment section that's going to be very useful for everybody. Now there's a couple things that I don't like. The EOCs were good, video feed absolutely clean, camera amazing quality. Uh, VTX, not so great, but that could be due to a couple reasons. One, the VTX isn't great. Two, the antenna's tucked in, and I didn't bother baking a hole and sticking it out. So that can be, you know, one of those two things here. And also, something that I really didn't like, T-Motor, is why the hell are you using an F3? Now, it's not really a big deal. We're using an MPU 6000 gyro on the F3, but it's not, I hope, hopefully, it will be also future-proof if the Betaflight developers tend to keep wanting to support the uh, F3 microcontroller units. Um, so take that into consideration when before purchasing this. Um, overall, the performance, the, the the build construction, just everything about it is absolutely phenomenal in terms of uh, flight characteristics. You're not gonna be fighting it. You're gonna enjoy the living hell out of it. And you can take it to a park and just go just nuts with it. It's absolutely insane for a two inch, to be honest. Um, now, if you take a closer look here, we do have the USB port. Now the USB port is really nice. It's big enough, it'll fit most USB bees out there which is really great especially in the field uh, also another nice addition is the camera tilt the camera tilt you get some really good tilt on this and you can take full advantage of the tilt because of how powerful the motors are and again you're not going to be fighting this outside which is really really nice and something you want in a quadcopter especially now that summer is coming now you also do not get a receiver with this. There's no option to purchase this with a receiver, so you'll have to bring your own receiver. And as you can tell, that blue heat shrunk thing inside in there, that's my uh, what are the, what the XM Plus receiver right here. And um, yeah, I just routed the antennas down to the arms here. As you can tell, with these zip ties, so I put these there myself, and that just works great. And it does come with XC60 and anti-slip pads. Now, a couple things to take note of. Now, I was flying this with a 550 milliamp uh, battery, which I'll have linked down below. Go ahead and check that out. That really supports the channel. So that's all I've been using. I'm on 550 milliamp 3S LiPos, and it flies absolutely phenomenal. Also, now if we take a look at the propeller guards here, now if you remove them, you'll reduce a lot of, not so much weight, but you'll reduce some weight. The overall weight of this as is, is around 84 grams with the zip ties here. So we can say roughly between 81 to 84 grams. Uh, that's its current weight. However, the uh, prop guards are very flimsy, as you can tell, they're not really stiff and they might break, you know, they're not gonna protect the propellers, but they might protect you from some sort of an injury if you were gonna run into someone. It does add some nice protection, so that's kind of nice. Um, but in terms of protecting the propellers, 
it's not gonna happen here um the overall the, the propellers actually were pretty strong i didn't i didn't have to replace them and they do provide you with an extra set of these gem fan uh tri blades here and they give you an alien key and they also give you a connector the connector is for the receiver here so you just put that connector in and you have three wires for s bus so s bus is already pre-routed for you but it doesn't really matter because this is an f3 so you can use i bus or s bus and possibly ppm not sure about ppm so keep that in mind there's a nice led and buzzer in there just a dedicated board for the led and buzzer up top so it does change colors and stuff inside for me i really don't care about that but yeah, that's just something if you like that kind of stuff. Um, overall, it's a really nice flying quadcopter. Unfortunately, it's using an F3. That's not a really big deal breaker for me, but it can be for some people. So take that into consideration. Uh, 3S, it'll run 3S just absolutely fine because it's rated anywhere between 2S as well as a 3S. Also, the flight characteristics were phenomenal. So you're, you're, not, you're really going to enjoy this guy. I enjoyed the living shit out of this. I'm not going to lie. I really had a lot of fun with this. And this is my Park Flyer currently. Um, for example, also, I really love the Emacs Baby Hawk R, I think it's called. Uh, but that one I really can't take to the park. I think it would be a bit more dangerous than this one. Uh, but this one was a really nice, like really, really nice uh, Park Flyer. Uh, so, so, so basically, so far in my bag for the parks would be this one, as well as the Ishin trash can. Believe it or not, that one's just a beast, and as well as this. So, these are my two main ones for the park currently. Uh, so overall, it flew good, and well, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. I'll leave a link to everything down below. Please check them out. Those greatly support the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.